Yeah, I confess, Father, I confess. Cause I've been living. Welcome back, everybody. She's arrived. That is my starter clutch. Um, before we install that, I wanted to go over the tools that you'll probably need if you're going to go ahead and do this particular job. Over here, I have an 8 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter, 13 millimeter, and 17 millimeter socket. But I want to touch um, also impact wrench and extension. But I really want to touch on these particular specialty tools. These are pretty much must haves. We have a flywheel puller and a castle nut. Um, you'll see them later in use when I go ahead and take the stator cover off um, and this will loosen the nut to actually get the clutch off. Um, up here I have a gasket ready to go. Alright, I've taken the liberty of doing a couple of things before as far as prep. So I've already drained the oil, disconnected the battery, um, removed the exhaust and the exhaust cover just so we can see the fan and pretty much get to work. So we're going to remove the fan right now. And that is an 8 millimeter. And we want to keep the screws with everything, so we're going to put them right there, put that to the side. And now we have the stator, and that's going to take a 17 millimeter and there she goes there's also a washer in there but I will get my magnet puller to pull out Go. All right, so now to get that off, we're going to use our flywheel puller. All right, and it's a reverse thread action. So when I put it in, I'll be actually turning it lefty because lefty, loosey, righty, tighty, and I want to get it as pretty much as deep as I can. All right, and I want to tighten this down. and it should pop right off. So you use a 17 millimeter socket on it and it should pop right off. And there she goes. And there's our stator. Now to remove the stator, push this a little bit closer, um, you see that we have two bolts holding on there and right here. So we'll be loosening those and then the two that are actually holding the stator in. And they should all be 18s. I'm sorry, 8 millimeters. And we want to keep them with the components that we are taking them from. So I'm going to put those right back in there. Slide this forward just a little bit and move on to where the guard that's holding it down. All right, we got it loose. And again, these are long, and we're gonna keep them just like they are. Move that to the side. All right, so then, we're gonna move this and it's magnetic, as you can see. So we're gonna actually remove the stator now. All right, and we're gonna move that whole component with screws intact there. Alright, before we go any further, I do want to mention, if you look here, um, on a non-ruckus style 
Chinese scooter. Um, you have a normally a black swing arm that connects from these two bolts all the way back here to your tire, um, to the shock in the back. That needs to be removed before we do what we're going to do right now, and that is go ahead and take off the cover. So we have, again, 8 millimeter, 7 bolts that we'll be removing right now. And again, we want to use our handy dandy slot holder to put the bolts in. So I'm going to do this in a cross pattern just to make sure. I don't think it's absolutely necessary, but as you can see that the screws are different sizes. So this one's going to go right here. That one right here. All right, so all seven bolts have been removed. So we're gonna try to do it without a rubber mallet and ooh, more oil than I thought's coming out, folks. So let me get that cleaned up. All right, so the oil spill to end all oil spills has been cleaned up. So let's go ahead and take this cover off. The starter gear might come out along with the gasket. It seems to be in fairly fair condition how it came off. We'll actually have to do some removal um, around the sides here, um, but we'll see how it comes off. But yep, there she is. All right, we're going to go ahead and take this starter gear out. Post has already come out. Um, if you notice here, we have a dial dial pin that is already in there. The other one has come out in the case, so they're all set. So now let's see. It's turning one way and it's not turning very well that way. And that would be the problem. So let's get set up to go ahead and remove it. All right, now we're going to pull the socket off and we're going to use our castle nut. And again, on this one, it is rightened to loosen. So we want to make sure we got our drill going the right way and place it on there. And it spins right off. All right, so we take that off and there's a socket that holds it in place. And from there, I'm gonna slide this bad boy on out now. All right, and there's our culprit. So let's get a new one in there and go from there. Now that the new starter clutch has been installed, I do wanna say that uh, and I would slide it out for you, but it took a little bit of effort getting it in. There are going to be some notches on the actual post, two of them. Uh, they kind of correspond a little bit unevenly, so you'll have to get past the first notch, and then you'll have to line up with the second notch to actually get her to seat, be seated on. And um, now I'm going to go ahead and put on my... 
let's put on our spacer and then we're gonna go ahead and tighten up our nut and again we already know it is the opposite of what we normally do so let's see here we want to get her even don't want to definitely don't want to strip anything all right she seems a little tighter there which is good and we'll torque her down and I recommend putting blue Loctite on there so now we want to install our starter spring to engage with the starter clutch so just line up those grooves make sure she is pushed all the way back and they will when this turns it will turn it we want to make sure no gears are broken or anything like that and now we're going to go ahead and put on the cover now um i'm going to go ahead and pretty much finish her it's the opposite order of how i took her apart but i'm not going to film that i think that would be a kind of a waste of you guys time so what we'll do is once I'm done with actually putting everything back together, we will do a startup and see that everything hopefully was successful. So I'll talk to you then. All right, so there is the old starter clutch. All right, and there she is. She's been put all back together. And now is the testing phase of her. We're gonna go ahead and attempt to start her up. And hopefully she fires right up. Let's see. Kill that kill switch and that's it. She started right up. A low idle until she warms up. With that, my friends, we'll conclude this video. So until next time. See you later.